Hi everyone, I, this is Swamp Rabbit, and today I am going to do a walkthrough of the weekly challenge, the weekly Odyssey challenge, Echo Friendly Happy Earth Day. This is the hard version, and what I'm taking in my crew, I'm going to use Open as a hero. In my crew, I've got two dart monkeys, two cannons, one ice monkey, one wizard, one alchemist, four druids, one village, and two ninjas. So, uh, let's begin. Now, I've got, like, whatever the default powers are, but I don't ever use default to powers. So, whatever powers you want to take with you. And this is played with no monkey knowledge. Okay, uh, this first map is just a standard map. So, I'm going to start with a ninja. And then I'm going to drop a dart monkey here for a little help. Okay, and I'll go ahead and upgrade this ninja a little bit. Actually, I'm going to kind of play it by ear. I might be able to buy open before I do an upgrade. Okay, it looks like I'll be able to get open first. All right, I'm going to place my open here, so my ninja is in open's range. And now I'll upgrade the ninja. And this is a standard map, so I will just go the 402 on the ninja. Now when I'm using open, I go ahead and use this little briar ability every time it's available. Uh, just simply because I don't save it for anything. So I'm not relying on it for, um, you know, to catch like a camo. I know a lot of people use it to catch camo. I don't do that. So I just use it every time it's available because it gives just a little extra defense that you might need as things are going along. Oh wow, I just noticed I only have one life on this. <laughs> I have to be more careful. Okay, uh, with my ninja upgraded, I'll go ahead and add an alchemist to him. I think that's going to be an open strange. I will upgrade the alchemist to four. 
to zero. Okay, I've got my alchemist at 420. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to add is a wizard. I'm going to place it up here between the dark monkey and open. I think it'll fit. Yep. And I'm going to upgrade this 042. I think Dragon's Breath is just like a really powerful upgrade. And it's a zero four two on the wizard. Next, I'll go ahead and place my druids, and I'm going to upgrade them zero one four. I start by upgrading each of them to 013. And there will be a couple in the front that I'll later upgrade to give Heart of Oak. Just to convert the regrows. And then I'll go back and give each of the four of them Pop Blast. Uh, this one I'm going to go ahead and give Heart of Oak to because of where it is. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a village <coughs> over these druids. That's the best place to put them. I think above the track is going to have the best chance of getting them in the range. Did that get it? 
Well, it missed Oban, but so Oban won't have camo, but all of the druids will. I'll upgrade the village to 202. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up Oban's tree. I want to set it as far as I can. So I don't want to at the very entrance. I'll put it on this outer track about right there. <coughs> and the reason I put it down the track, in case you don't know, is um, I want to give all my monkey towers as many chances as possible to knock everything out so that I'm not relying on the kraken or the tree uh, for much defense. It's just like a kind of a last minute kind of thing. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to Monkey Intelligence Bureau. That's going to also give all of these druids the ability to pop lead. Now I'm going to place a bomb shooter just inside the range of the village, you know, but as but as close to the track as possible. And I'm gonna upgrade it to zero four or two four zero rather. I don't think I really have, let's see, this will be 27,000 to upgrade. Hmm. I guess I'll wait and see. I might have enough to upgrade that to 27,000 to the, and that way I could take out the ZOMG on round 80. I think this defense is good enough without the ZOM, without the bomb shooter upgrade, but if not, never hurts to have it. And I'm using the bomb shooter ability on some of these BFBs just to break them open faster.
And I do have enough to upgrade that bomb shooter, so I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and give the rest of the druids heart of oak. Just, I have nothing else to spend the money on, is the only reason I'm doing that. Was not difficult. Uh, primary only monkeys. So what we've got to do is make it so that we can get past round four. Getting past round four is the goal right now. Make that a little longer range. Put one of these on strong. I'm going to take this off of auto start. I need to think a little bit about what I've got going on. <laughs> All right, it looks like I just need to try and hopefully wait for open. Yay. <laughs> I was holding my breath on that. Um, I'll go ahead and place my open at the entrance. And that'll make it a lot easier to get things set up. I may not have brought enough primary monkeys with me. Now that I'm looking at it. I brought more of the magic monkeys because I'm kind of worried about the Pat's Pond magic only. So, which is, I think it's the fifth map. I'll start off just upgrading these dark monkeys. Right, I think with Oven and the two dart monkeys, I have a pretty good defense on, on regular blooms right now. So I'm going to add a cannon up here at the front for round 40. And I'm going to upgrade it to 4 zero.
Uh, the next thing I'll get, I'll go ahead and place an ice monkey. I'm going to just put it right here with my dart monkeys. I'm going to upgrade it to zero four. And I'll go ahead and place my last cannon. Uh, this one, I will upgrade it 0 to 4. And that will hopefully catch like anything that gets past the other monkeys. Of course, nothing in this little group up here has camo. That's the only weakness. If, if the camo gets past this little group, it's in trouble. Okay, I now I'll just spend the money upgrading dart monkeys. Both of my dark monkeys at zero two four now. And I need twenty five three eighty for the next upgrade. I'm just going to have these uh, dart monkeys target camo. If something gets past them, it'll have to open in the two cannons to go through again. So it's just really the camo is the only thing that can't get, I can't allow to pass them. go ahead and set open tree. I'm going to set it on the uh, right up here. So anything that does get past the monkeys will actually I'm going to move that. I'm going to put it on the very exit. That'll give open a second go at it before it, it gets there. Okay, 
and I'll go ahead and upgrade to Crossbow Master. With no monkey knowledge, I can't upgrade my other one, so um, that's upgraded as far as I can, except for the Ice Monkey, which I don't want to upgrade. So I will... If I have enough money, I'll upgrade one of the bomb shooters, or can I upgrade open? I'll upgrade open some. I won't have enough in those few rounds to upgrade the bomb shooter, so. I'll just keep making open stronger. I think that's the best thing I can do with the rest of the money. And of course, you know, I am using the bomb shooter ability on some of the re reinforced MOABs, as many of them as I can, and on the BFBs. The regular MOABs I'm not worrying about because everything else can take care of those easily. on that, but uh, they were able to handle that. So I'll move on to the next map, the logs map. Let's see, the logs is magic monkey only. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see, to start with, I'll place a ninja. I'm going to place it right here. Upgraded it zero zero one just to get through round four. Okay, and then I'll upgrade it one zero one. And then 201. I think that should be enough uh, so that I can save up 700 for open without any issues. Okay, my little open, I'm going to stick it on this top corner of this little square. 
So the ninja is going to be in the opens range, but then I'll also have plenty of room to put the little druids here and whatnot. I'm going to upgrade this ninja some more. I'll make it to a 402. Yeah, once again, just like on the first map, I'm using this Briar ability, or the first two maps, rather. I'm using the Briar ability every time it's available, uh, just simply because I don't save it for anything. And it gives might give a little bit of extra help when it's needed. Okay, I've got my ninja at 402, so I'll throw an alchemist on him next. I'm going to put it like right on the bottom edge there so that it will cover like Oban and the Druids when I add them. So I'm going to upgrade it to the faster throwing. I do that first so I don't forget because my normal way to go is the second path. So I want to make sure that I get the faster throwing. Uh, but I'll upgrade that. Uh, 402 will be the upgrade on the uh, the alchemist. Alright, my alchemist is now 402, so I will add a wizard next. Let's see, where will I put my wizard? Let me see how big it opens. Alright, opens range is pretty big. So I'm going to place my wizard like right on this corner opposite the ninja. And I'm going to upgrade it to 042. When it's magic only, I do my wizard before the little group of nin uh, druids because this wizard can do both camo and lead, and the druids without a village can't. I don't know why I clicked that. That was not necessary. You don't need to quit that. Okay, 
then I'll do my little clump of druids. Now each of these druids, I'm going to upgrade. Let's see, I'm going only to round 65. I'll upgrade these zero, two, four. A lot of times if it's magic monkey, I'll upgrade it to zero, four. But with this one, they're all getting a lot from the alchemist, so they're going to have that ability on lead anyway, for the most part. So it's not going to be as important because we're only going around 65. If you're trying to go like to 100 or something, you would want to make them have lead all the time, so you'd want to go the top route. And I am, so I'm upgrading each of the druids to 024. Okay, for my open tree, I'm going to place it here. Uh, the sideway path is the last one it takes, so that's the closest to the exit. So that way it'll give all the monkeys as much time as possible to, to uh, pop all the balloons before it gets there. Hmm. I have money left over, so I am going to... Hmm. Another ninja. I'll place it over here on the other side of the alchemist. And I'll do another 420 or 402. On 60, I'll just use the fire dragon just to speed it along. I think Open talks more than the other heroes do. That one wasn't too difficult, but Logs is like a really easy map. So we'll move on to map number four. All right, uh, this is going to be a standard. You have like all your monkeys available. So let's see. Uh. Okay, for this map, I'll start with two dart monkeys. The first one I'll place on this little island, the little circular one that's close to the exit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have the range circle split the exact tip of the main island and then I want the little pointy part of the dart monkeys uh, to be in the middle of that 
the brown center of this flower. So if you look at the range, it's like right in the middle, and then the point is right there. I want to upgrade it to longer range and quicker shots. And then the second dart monkey, I want to center it on this bottom island. On the bottom left. And I'm going to give the bottom left dart monkey faster shots, quick shots, whichever it's called. Okay, I'm then going to give the exit monkey very quick shots. Now I will place my open right here in the center. Okay, I'm going to start adding some druids. I'm going to give it thorn swarm, and then I'll give it druid reach as well before I buy another one. I'm going to use this little briar ability of opens every time it's available. Uh, for this druid, I'll do the same thing. I'll make it 011 before I buy another one. And then the fourth druid, I'll do the same thing, 0, 1, 1 on it. Okay, 
Now I'll start upgrading the druids to 0, 1, 3 on each of them. I'm going to give this monkey on the end, I'll give him a camo. I've got two druids at 0, 1, 3, and I am going to actually make them 0, 2, 3. I'm going to give both of those that are upgraded so far the Heart of Oak uh, so that they'll convert any regrows. Okay, before I upgrade more druids, I'm going to add a ninja down here on the point at the exit uh, to help out with camos. Because right now, just this one little dark monkey is the only thing I have for camo. And I'll upgrade this ninja to 201. Okay, now I'll go back to upgrading these druids. This point, I'm going to give cow drops to my ninja at the exit, and I'm going to upgrade the ninja at the exit a bit more. I'll upgrade it to 301. I think 301 should be good enough for now. Or 302, the ninja's at 302, I misspoke. Okay, I'm going to start giving these um, druids pop lust. Round 40 is coming up, so I don't have enough for another pop list. I'll go ahead and add an alchemist and make it a 200 to give them a little bit of help busting that open. Excellent. <laughs> now I'll go back to upgrading my druids. Okay, I have two druids with pop lust right now, but the camos are getting to be a bit much, so I'm going to go ahead and, and give these camo by adding a village and then upgrading it 0 to 0. Okay, 
and then I'll give it a bigger radius so that it also opens got camo ability as well. Okay, so now all of my druids have pop lust. Two of them, the ones at the front, have heart of oak. So the front two are at 024, and these back two are at 014. I have my village on 120. I'll go ahead and upgrade that and give, give all of them jungle drums. Okay, now I'm going to add a wizard over here at the back. And I'm going to upgrade it 022 to start with. And then I want to upgrade it to 023. Or 032. I can't. If I'm not looking at it, I say it wrong. So 032 on the wizard. Okay, then I want to upgrade this ninja to 402. Now I want to buy an ice monkey for my ninja and wizard. I want to upgrade it to 204. The ice monkey, 204. Okay, I'm going to set my open tree. Hmm. I'm going to set it on the top track. I believe that more of the Moabs go that direction. And I'm going to start upgrading my Alchemist to 402. I've got that alchemist at 402 and a lot of things have hit this tree of opens or the kraken of opens so I'm going to refresh it on the next round so 59 actually I'm not going to refresh it on 59 I'll wait and refresh it before 60 I think that's a better way to do it Okay, so at the start of 60, I'll go ahead and refresh that and collect my bananas. Okay. Wait, um. I 
The next thing I'll upgrade, I'll upgrade my wizard to 042. And then I'm going to upgrade this exit dart monkey, give him s some more power. On 64, I'm going to go ahead and use that Fire Dragon ability. And I am going to place a cannon by my little wizard ninja group. I'm going to upgrade it 024. And put my open tree back up. For 69, I'll go ahead and refresh that open tree. And I'm going to add a ninja down in this bottom corner just to help out give it some ninja discipline. I'll make it 402 Bunjutsu. Right uh, on to map number five. This is one I predict to be the most difficult. Just because Pat's Pond is not an easy map to begin with, and then we're limited to magic monkeys only. All right, sadly, on this map, I wasn't able to find a way to set it up to start it. I could get, couldn't get past round four with any of these magic monkeys. And the only magic monkey I don't have with me is the super monkey, which cost way more anyway, so I couldn't afford it. Uh, with my monkey knowledge, of course, everything's life is so much easier. You've got the, got the little spikes on the end. You've got the little 25 regenerating life, so you never have to worry about dying. And I hate playing Odysseys with, with the monkey knowledge, in case you can't tell. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start with my open. But, you know, everything's going to hit these spikes for the first couple of rounds anyway. I wish there was some way that I could have figured out. If, if somebody can figure out a way to start with just monkey, um, with just magic monkeys and not lose any wounds because we only have that one life, you know, let me know. But I, I couldn't figure it out. And the next thing, I'll go ahead and add a druid. I don't need to worry about camo until around 24, so, so I won't. And so I'm going to upgrade that druid 011. 
And of course, every time this little briar ability is available, I'm going to use it. I always think it's annoying, like if I watch somebody's video and they say, oh, this is played with minimal monkey knowledge. But it includes this 25 regenerating lives. So basically, I mean, you'd have to lose a ton to lose that many lives, you know, to lose because you'd have to lose 26 in one round, which is like really hard to do. I don't know what Ninja Kiwi's been up to the last few weeks. There's been a couple of of um, odysseys, hard odysseys, that require that you have monkey knowledge with the discounted prices in order to win. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing that. Oh, right now, <laughs> I forgot to say what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just buying druids and I'm upgrading them each to zero, one, one. And then I'm clicking on my little briar ability every time it's available. So I am adding my druids and <laughs> upgrading them to 011 and being annoyed that I had to use monkey knowledge because I don't think that's cool. Alright, uh, now I'm going to add a ninja on the other side. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to upgrade it to 402. We have a Moab to bust open on 40, so I need to get something to do that and it's going to be this ninja.
Brendan, an alchemist, to my ninja. <laughs> I'm not very good at speaking on these. I forget to tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to upgrade my alchemist to 4 to 0 on this ninja. Okay, so on the left hand side, I have a 402 ninja and a 420 alchemist. On the right hand side, I've got open and then I've got four druids. They're all 011. So I'm going to start upgrading those druids. I'm going to upgrade them all to 013. Actually, I'm going to drop a ninja. No, I'm put. No, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking what I need to do and what order I need to do it. Uh, I do need camo on this side, but I'm not going to use a ninja. I'm going to drop a wizard instead because I want to give it um, shimmer. So with this wizard, it will be zero, two, three, and. For now, it'll be 023, and I'll probably upgrade it more later. Okay, the shimmer should reveal the camo so that the open and the druids can hit it. Okay, I'm going to give two of my druids Heart of Oak, and I'm going to set my open Kraken to the bottom track, right here, as far away from the little group as I can, to give them as much um, opportunity to do the work. Now I'm going to give my druids, uh, give them all pop lust. Okay, so now all of my druids have pop lust. Let's see. I've got only one with heart of oak, so I'm going to give a second one heart of oak. And I am going to upgrade my wizard to necromancer. I'll add my second ninja over here by the first. I 
think that might allow me to bust open that um, BFB when it comes out on 60. Maybe. If not, the Druid should be able to handle the rest of it. And this ninja will also be 402. The monkey knowledge that really makes this map possible is to have the reduced price on the hero. Um, I'm not sure if there's if you can use other heroes on this Odyssey. I didn't check to see. I'll look after I've finished. But if you can, if there's a different option that's affordable uh, with 650, then you may be able to play this map without any monkey knowledge. So I'll look into that, and if there is, I'll, I'll make a new video for it. But using open, you have to have the monkey knowledge that makes them cheaper. And that's round 60. Okay, um, that is it for this Odyssey. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.